What exactly is going to be key for you when it comes to Microsoft and Alphabet? Yeah, thanks a lot, Tom. So a couple of things come to mind, and I think Arjun hit on uh, some of these. Um, first is obviously the top line. I think people are not expecting much, but we're going to see where cloud is, for example, for both of these companies. For Microsoft, Azure, um, I think uh, growth was uh, above 30 percent um, in the last quarter that they reported. They talked about, I think, something like four to 500 basis points lower in this quarter. But I think a lot of people are wondering, are they going to be able to deliver that and where and when will the bottom be reached? So that's kind of one thing. And then the other thing is, of course, with respect to Microsoft, this notion of PC demand and growth, um, indications are that PC demand has been uh, pretty terrible, frankly, over the past quarter. So those are two things to keep in mind for Microsoft. For Alphabet slash Google, again, it's cloud, the continuing deceleration of cloud growth. And then as he pointed out, kind of how much can we expect from that core kind of advertising and search business? People are not particularly optimistic. Now, OK, is there is there a macro story to tell with regard to that ad spend market right now that we, we haven't yet seen develop? Is, is it going to be an economy that can support at least a certain base level of ad spending? Or is Alphabet going to be much more impacted? They're the ones with more exposure than, say, obviously a Microsoft. Yeah, I mean, look, Dom, at the end of the day, I think the economy is driving a lot of what's going on here. I think a couple of years ago, amid um, COVID and pandemic-driven demand, I think we saw a lot of robustness from these companies. But ultimately, these are companies and businesses that largely are driven um, by macroeconomic factors. And I do think that uh, Alphabet slash Google is going to indicate um, that the macro economy is not being helpful in terms of advertising spend. The other thing, which is the flip side of the coin that we're talking about here, um, is the cost and expense picture where we've seen this com these companies announce substantial layoffs, I think 10,000 to 12,000 individuals, 5 to 6 percent uh, of these companies' workforces. We wonder if there's more to come. And so folks are going to be focused, no doubt, on the top line, as we talked about. But in addition, we want to see if those restructuring efforts are kind of supporting margins in a way that can help propel these stocks higher. You know, you were talking about the importance of these stocks. These stocks are up 15 to 20 percent year to date versus, you know, the S&P 500 performing at an 8 percent clip. So they've more than doubled the performance of the broader index this year. So these are obviously very key. Reports. All right, Scott, before we let you go. Because you yeah. cover all these companies, is there a favorite name you have this earnings season for big tech, media, and telecom? So in terms of the fundamentals, I think it's important to look at um, a name like an Alphabet slash Google. And the reason I mention that is because a lot of the hype is obviously around AI. I think Microsoft has a lot of momentum. But just be mindful that Google I.O., their developer conference, is next month. And we expect a lot of announcements related to AI to come and potentially shift the pendulum a little bit in their direction.